This is a ranking video where I am going to rank all the Disney plus Marvel Phase 4 shows. Oof, that's a mouthful. Anyway, there are 8 shows and in at number 8, unsurprisingly, it's She-Hulk. Now this show has to be the most boring and the cringiest MCU show so far. The CGI is bad, the story is bad, and almost everything is bad. So the less we talk about it, the better it is. Then at number 7, we have Miss Marvel. This show does feel like a CW show but done badly. Now they tried to make it um Indian representation at its forefront but fails at that and doesn't feel like an MCU show and overall it's very mediocre. Number 6 is Hawkeye. Now Hawkeye has always been a side character in the MCU and in his own show he also plays a side character and Kate Bishop is a main character and Echo gets a lot of screen time for setting up her own show and overall it's just a dumb Christmas movie. In at number 5, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now this is the most MCU-ish MCU show so far, but the plot is unimaginative and the ending is bad. So the only good thing about it is Falcon gets a new costume and we meet Val. Number 4 we have Loki. This has to be the most okay-ish MCU show cause the show had so much potential and the ending was pretty good. But overall the episodes and the whole show feels kinda. Meh. If you are enjoying it so far, why not hit the like button and subscribe because many more ranking videos and MCU videos are coming soon. In at number 3, we have What If. Now it is structured in a form of an anthology where each episode tells a different story and some episodes are good, other episodes are okay. So by sheer number of story episodes, this ranks higher. In at number 2, we have WandaVision, the first and the most unique MCU show and this started off pretty good. But but by the end, it feels like just another MCU show, to be honest. But at the time when it came out, it did feel good. Number one, we have Moon Knight, the best show that MCU Disney Plus has to offer, and well, most of the action stuff in this show are skipped. Yet this is the best. Now that shows how bad MCU shows has been lately. Anyway, this show has Oscar Isaac, who puts forth a phenomenal job showing his different personalities. So just because of him the show gets to this rank and I enjoyed it the most out of all the shows so if you agree with me hit the like button if not well you can hit the dislike no one's gonna see that if you wanna share your thoughts just comment down below about how would you rank this 